if you follow the gospel truth this is where you end up in the earth walking with the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today Holy and you Ghost walk with him God by saying words today. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. The church never told me about the Spirit Lord. Not one time did they say something about the Spirit Lord. I had to find out about Him myself by pursuing the truth he is the spirit of truth yes pursue truth guess who you're gonna bump into the holy ghost, the holy ghost. he's the spirit of truth mm -hmm. second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty so obviously there's a kind of liberty that you couldn't have if the spirit wasn't Lord or if you didn't know say if I didn't know. I didn't know if you didn't know the spirit of the Lord or the spirit Lord that's literally what it says mm -hmm. where the spirit Lord is but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or the spirit lord mm -hmm. now the lord is that spirit mm -hmm. this day in this hour the day we're living in now the lord is that spirit and i like it well tough that's the truth we're going to get into that a little bit but the truth is now the lord is that spirit and that spirit is the holy ghost mm -hmm. he came into the earth on the day of pentecost and heaven hasn't left He's the one Jesus sent to be with us and he is with us and now the Spirit Lord is that Spirit the Holy Ghost right, right. Yes. we go from glory to glory even as by or with the Spirit Lord are you gonna go from glory to glory any other way no, no unless it's you know your imaginary way if you're gonna go from glory to glory Say, if I'm going to go from glory to glory, go from glory, glory, to glory. it will be with, will be with the, Spirit the Spirit Lord. Do you understand this? Yes. So it's by and with Him, the Spirit Lord. Well, here's the fact. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit Lord. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and we walk with Him. Yes. The whole of the gospel brought us up to here to this place to where we can walk with him the Holy Ghost as God in the earth mm -hmm. it wasn't so we could just die and go to heaven it brought us to this place so the Holy Ghost could come into the earth and we could walk with him as the Spirit Lord if we follow the gospel say the gospel, the gospel. if we follow the gospel it leads us here to the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord God in the earth today walking with him this is where we end up you and the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord in the earth walking together <laughs> why didn't the church tell me this so that's your new reality if you follow the gospel you end up here you and the Holy Ghost in the earth walking is that good news yes. Yes. it's great news well that's where you are but you want it some other way you want Jesus with you and not some other God or some other Lord you want Jesus with you and not some other Lord but here it says now the Lord is that spirit the spirit Lord He's the one with you. I'm reminded of that vision that Dr. Ed Dufresne had before he went home to be with the Lord Jesus. He had a vision of Jesus. So he was in heaven, and Jesus is talking to him, and he said, 
everybody wants me but nobody wants the one i sent who's the one he sent holy ghost, holy ghost the spirit lord you want to have jesus rematerialize into some ethereal omnipotent force and then come into your heart you know just like the preacher told you but my gospel begins with jesus left you nobody wants to hear that but that's the truth jesus had to leave in order to send another and the another that he sent was the holy ghost the spirit lord to be with you Amen. right yes but you like i said you want it some other way you want the fictitious fictitious way that you were told john chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless what well, what color are these these letters red. red that means jesus said them john chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless i tell you the what truth. the truth it is expedient or profitable for you that i go away say it's profitable for me, profitable for me. if jesus went away did he go away yes yes look why for if i go not away the comforter will not come to you but if i depart i will send him unto you it means if he's going to send him he has to be somewhere else yes. the real jesus has to be somewhere else for him to send the holy ghost did the holy ghost come yes. then jesus isn't here he's somewhere else and sent the holy ghost yes. who is here holy ghost spirit lord the one you walk with is this fun yet mm -hmm. it is profitable or you could say good news mm -hmm. that i go away the gospel of jesus left you is profitable because he sent another and if you allow jesus to go away you can fully embrace and receive the another john chapter 14 verse 16 and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth who abides with you the spirit of truth the holy ghost the spirit lord the comforter all these are his names right well he will give you another you know what another means right it's not the same not the same one not the same one it's not the same one say it's not the same one it's not the same one it's another and he will abide with you you understand english right yes. you can't confuse this jesus didn't say he'll send you another of me and i will abide with you jesus isn't saying he's going to abide with you he said the another that he sent is going to abide with you and he will send him from somewhere else mm -hmm. who's with you holy ghost. holy ghost get it straight you walk in the earth with the spirit lord so he will give you another comforter that he say he, he. may abide with you forever he's a person you can get to know him as a person but not if you don't treat him as a person he will abide with you so who abides with you the holy ghost i realize i'm re repeating these things but you know we've not said them so much that it needs to be repeated the holy ghost abides with you not jesus deal with it if jesus is abiding with you then the holy ghost is not and i guarantee you jesus is not abiding with you only a fictional concept of jesus is jesus left you jesus sent another scripture right yes the truth yes the spirit of truth reveals this to you mm -hmm. the gospel truth if you follow the gospel truth this is where you end up in the earth walking with the holy ghost mm -hmm. well i'm not like everyone else because everyone else thinks the other way there may be a few people here and there but 
this is not what you're hearing normally right? right nobody gets invited back to a church when they get up in front in the pulpit and they say Jesus left you and he's not with you because everyone thinks the other way but the real good news is that Jesus left you and sent another and the another is the Holy Ghost and the another is the Spirit Lord now the Lord is that spirit didn't say now the Lord is Jesus the another is the Holy Ghost the another is the Spirit Lord not Jesus very popular message how can you say these things I have to say these things I'm under obligation to say these things I am a sent one to tell you this I'm not going to tell you that you've made a false God out of Jesus in your heart and that it bothers the Holy Ghost I'm not gonna tell you that <laughs> I mean where is he the Holy Ghost gonna go if you've already occupied that place in your heart and your life with something else but you were supposed to let Jesus go so he could send another you receive the another that Jesus sent and he will be with you say if I receive, if I receive the, another the another that Jesus sent, that Jesus he, sent he will be with me, be with me. who's with you the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord and you can walk with him in the earth now I've seen the real Jesus and he is not the super spiritual one that you talk about he's still in his physical body say Jesus, Jesus is, still is still in his physical, in his physical body. body that's scripture and a physical body can't be everywhere at one time and Jesus in his physical body can't be in you if we're talking about the real Jesus who's the real Jesus remember Jesus appeared to the Apostles before sending the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost you want to look there go to Luke chapter 24 Luke chapter 24 verse 36 Did you find it and as they thus spake Jesus himself stood in the midst of say Jesus himself. Jesus himself which Jesus is that you suppose real Jesus fake Jesus no that's the real Jesus Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and saith unto them peace be unto you 37 but they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit and he said unto them why are you troubled behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have was Jesus a spirit no it's I myself and not a spirit he has flesh and bones as you see him have it is one of the great sacrifices that Jesus committed himself to when he came into the earth was to go into a physical body mm -hmm. and stay there for all eternity and we downplay that saying oh no he now he's he turned into a spirit he didn't turn into a spirit he sent another and the real Jesus is still in his physical flesh and bone body real Jesus mm -hmm. you hold my hands and my feet that it is I myself handle me and see for a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see me have real Jesus mm -hmm. still has a physical body real Jesus sent the Holy Ghost Hebrews chapter 10 and let's just read verse 5 wherefore when he comes into the world talking about Jesus he saith sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not but a body hast thou prepared for me God prepared a body for Jesus to have and he entered into the body and did all the things he had to do 
rose from the dead physically say physically, physically and is still in his physical body to this very day it was a great sacrifice for him to do that yes. a body hast thou prepared for me it is an insult to the sacrifice jesus made to think or believe otherwise that jesus is not still in his physical body mm -hmm. are you seeing this yes. still holes in his hand holes in his feet mm -hmm. jesus is lord in the way that he is lord but he is not the spirit lord and never turned into the spirit lord he sent another and the another is the holy ghost and the another is the spirit lord and the another the holy ghost the spirit lord is in the earth and he's the one that we walk with not jesus why do you have to say it so plain because you're all goofy that's plain this is very plain mm -hmm. you pretending that Jesus is with you right now doesn't change the fact that he's not you pretending that Jesus turned into some spirit doesn't change the fact that he didn't He even had to correct the disciples. I'm not a spirit. Are you here? Yes. But the Holy Ghost is the Spirit Lord. He is God in the earth today, and we walk with Him. Are you still in Hebrews? Yes. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the power of his word or the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down at the right hand of majesty on high at where did he sit down at the right hand of majesty on high right being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they so by doing this mm -hmm. he obtained a more excellent name yes what's the more excellent name the name of jesus mm -hmm. he obtained it he got it he grabbed it and he inherited it mm -hmm. the name of jesus yes. right mm -hmm. then what did he do with that name he gave it to us to use yes. right yes. all right let's look at that acts chapter 3 and then let's look at verse 6 and peter said to the crippled man when and then peter said silver and gold have i none but such as i have give i thee say such as i have, such as I have. give i thee that means he had this thing he's going to give yes. right he said in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk and the man he took him by the hand and he rose up and walked. Mm -hmm. are you here yes. Yes. how did Peter have the name of Jesus because Jesus gave it to Peter he gave his name to you in fact we are commanded to do everything that we do on this earth in the name of Jesus yes. such as I have give I thee well have you ever noticed that we're not told to do anything in the name of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. Bible says we do all things in the name whatsoever you do in word or deed do in the name of Jesus right yes. but we're not told to do anything in the name of the Holy Ghost do you know why the Holy Ghost is here say the Holy Ghost is here, the Holy Ghost is here. Jesus isn't here he gave us his name right. therefore we do things in his name because Jesus isn't here right. well we don't do things in the name of the Holy Ghost because he's here but we're told to as believers let's say lay hands on the sick in whose name in Jesus, in Jesus name why are we doing that in Jesus name because he's not here mm -hmm. we're doing it in his name yes. 
not as him would you turn into jesus no we're doing it in his name because he's not here he gave us his name mm -hmm. is this starting to make sense why in his name because he's not here who does the actual healing though the holy ghost the spirit lord who is here yes. are you getting this mm -hmm. giving someone your name to use is a very common thing mm -hmm. if you're not going to be there it's called the power of attorney it's a legal thing yeah. and you give someone your name to use they can do things in your name if they have the legal right to use it mm -hmm. but never when the person is present then the person is there they do it in their own name but jesus is not here so he gave us his name to use until he comes back mm -hmm. are you getting this yes shouldn't be that difficult the fact that you're using his name is proof that he's not here mm -hmm. giving someone your name to use in your absence is very common but never when the person is present i have a problem with people who say jesus is with them i have a problem with with people who say that jesus is personally with them i get it metaphorically sure but that's not what you're talking about you're talking about him being actually with you he is not with you and I have a problem with it well then I have a problem with 99.9% .9 of the church mm -hmm. and I'm not the only one who has a problem with it you know who has a problem with this the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. the Spirit of truth because he Jesus is not with you well we do all in the name of Jesus for a specific reason this is my message this is what I'm trying to get over tonight we use the name of Jesus in all that we do for a specific reason because he is not here we're doing it in his name mm -hmm. right yes whoever you give a cup of water to in my name whoever you lay hands on in my name shall be healed we're doing it in his name because he's not here stop saying he is it's not true who is here the Holy Ghost can you see how this is offensive mm -hmm. to the one who is here the Living God the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord and why we haven't known him as the Spirit Lord because we've been wrapped up in a fictitious religious idea that's been fed to us over the years well, we don't do anything in the name of the Holy Ghost because he is here he is with you he is the Spirit Lord and if you'll give him the honor and the place due to who he is he will begin to rise up with you and you'll be able to walk with him in and through things that you could never do before we thank you Holy Ghost that you have quickened people according to your word this evening and the truth is finally settled in and people will say I get it now and I worship you Holy Ghost for you are God in the earth and I walk with you and it's a joyous joy joy joyous thing to be walking with the Living God fulfilling the gospel coming to this place where we know you and walk with you and live with you and worship you and fulfill yes everything that we were called to do we thank you for it holy ghost in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. in jesus name jesus. i thank you that you are god in the earth and i get to know you and walk with you in all of your things one of the things is complete prosperity in every realm of my life i give you all the glory for it in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus
us at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth to 